Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini who helps me in the craft room. He's been sleeping. <laughs> and I have for you today a bunch of swaps that I've received over the last, oh, couple of, probably couple of months actually. And there's some absolutely stunningly beautiful pieces, both from my team and some other demonstrators in Denver that I participate in swaps with. And then I have also a handful of customers' cards that were sent to me. And they're so beautiful that I want to share them with you. So uh, let's just get started. Okay, I've got about 30 of these cards. and. I'm going to do this just a little bit differently this time because um, I know I've, I've heard from some of you that I'm going a little bit fast on these because many of you are trying to get a screenshot. So I'm going to set these here for just a second and so you have plenty of time to do this. This one was sent to me by one of my wonderful customers and um, Judy Harmon. And look at that. Isn't that cute? It just opens like that and opens like this. So you could even put another little piece of white here to put a message on and then it opens all the way up here. And Judy is from Newberry, South Carolina and uh, sent this card to me and I just think it's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Judith. Okay, let's see if I can work my way through these. This one is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And I uh, didn't take it out of the thing, so it's going to crinkle. This one is um, a card that we did in a swap with one of the Denver demonstrators here. And this is Terry Kaspari. And Terry is the leader of our Kindred Inkers group here in Denver. And it says, your strength is an inspiration. And look what she did with this putting the ribbon through this thing, adding some clouds, and then there's stamp background here, and then the die cuts. Very, very pretty. And then she's got the pelican on the, um, on the posts here on the inside. Very pretty card. And I'm just going to leave it for a second so somebody wants to get a, a screenshot they can. Thank you, Terry. Um, Terry is up in my um, uh, upline by quite a bit. Uh, so she's upline to my uplines, upline. <laughs> anyway, this one is from Meg Scouron on my team. And isn't that just the cutest thing? It's It looks just like a little envelope and it's a simple crossover with a cute little bow here. And there is that flower on the inside with just about anything you wanted to put on the outside. That one is so much fun. I love pocket cards. So I'm going to leave that one sit there like that. And then again like that. So if you wanted to take a screenshot, you can. And let's see. Uh, Meg is from Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And um, has been on my team actually for quite a while now. So thank you very much, Meg. I appreciate that. This next one, it just came here recently. Isn't that pretty with all of those plum colors in it and the green. And again, I forgot to take it out. I just didn't get to taking these out of their cellophane packages. And this one is from a lady by the name of Andrea Budd. And Andrea's card opens like this. Isn't that cute? I may have to do uh, do that one. It's on a card base. And this part is just another little card that folds over here and is attached to this back piece that's been embossed. And then there's this piece that folds over the top and provides some additional decoration. Very pretty. Clever idea. I like this one a lot. And it's thanks. And it's got some designer series paper out of some of the new material. 
great fr great fun to a friend that makes me smile. Isn't that nice? Just wonderful. Thank you, Andrea. Andrea always does such a nice job on her cards. And she's on my team. And Andrea is from Santa Rosa, California. So thank you very much, Andrea. All right, this next one, if I remember right, isn't this gorgeous? This I wanted to show. It's got um, pansies on the back. This is, I think, the prettiest pansy card I've, I've seen. And part of it has to do with the coloring. She's got a little ladybug there, and she's one of my customers. Her name is Diane Bakshis, B-A-K-S-H-I-S. -S. And Diane is from Waukegan, Illinois. And um, look at the coloring on those pansies. Isn't that just stunning? And there's one inside here with this lovely little message of thanks. I send my customers, those that order with me, a little product package at the end of the month on every month that they order. And I sent, had sent her some of these ladybugs, so she sent me a card back with the ladybug on it. I thought that was so pretty. I'm going to hold that still for a second for screenshots. I think that is absolutely one of the prettiest ones I've seen. So thank you very much, Diane. It's just beautiful. Okay. I'm trying desperately to keep the envelopes and cards together until I'm ready to do something more with them. All right. The next one I have is also from a customer. Isn't that gorgeous? I got that one at, at Easter. And uh, on the envelope, it says, He is Risen. And this is from Judy Harmon in Newberry, South Carolina, again. So I think this first one was from Judy. Let's just check here. Yes, Judith, Judy Harmon. And again, hers are so graphic. It's just gorgeous with the sun in the middle and the, and the rays going away, the cross, the butterfly. And then she's got, look at this, <laughs> lamb. Oh, isn't that cute? And very, very pretty card. Thank you, Judy. It's just, just gorgeous. Okay, this one is from uh, a swap here in Denver. The demonstrator's name is Janet Weishet. And Janet is a part of the Kindred Inkers group. And she was using this new tea suite. Isn't that just great? Thank you for your friendship, it says. And there she's got the tea bag tag. One, two, three, four, five different tea, tea cups and some stamping in the background with leaves. Very, very pretty. And then on the inside, just a, a simple tea cup. And, um, and this must be that new in color. In fact, I'm sure it is. That's the sorbet. What's it called? It's called sweet sorbet. And so I, she was using all of the new in colors. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Janet. That's just a lovely card. Okay, this one is from another of my customers. And isn't that just cute? Now she's taken, um, this is from, I think, the Memories and More card pack that came out with the hand pen suite. And this is Gloria Tillman from Katy, Texas, and she just fussy cut around some of the flowers, put it on a, a purplish background here with the ribbon, which just gives it some sparkle. Isn't that pretty? And it looks like she daubered around the edges of this, and I think that must be fresh freesia. Yeah, it's beautiful, and it says, Happy Birthday, and... Um, uh, Gloria won one of my monthly prizes and she was so excited. So she sent me this thank you card and it's just lovely. Gloria Tillman out of Katy, Texas. So thank you, Gloria. It's a beautiful card. I love it. I just love them. I love getting cards from customers. It's just a lot of fun. This one is from my upline on my team. This is from Walt Wanda Williams. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it just simply says, hello. 
on that big, beautiful tag. Isn't that gorgeous? Very, very pretty. This is from Wanda Williams, and Wanda is uh, comes from Gastonia, North Carolina. So thank you very much. I'll leave that for a second from Wanda Williams. All right, now this one is amazing. This card folds up like this, and we this was a swap that we did where we were using things that were going to retire. And so look at this beautiful, uh, like a, a screen, and it stands up, and she used some kind of a half circle to punch this out so it stands up as though it were standing a standing screen. And then she used some of these to get sort of this lacy look on the individual screens. And then she put another layer of paper on the inside on this one. And then the back, you could write your message or you could do it here. Sending a thousand well wishes your special day. And this was done by Sandy Ship. She's here in Denver. She's in Littleton and she's on my team. Isn't that just one of the most gorgeous things you've ever seen? With that gold, very, very oriental looking, that screen. This was a lot of work. Thank you, Sandy. It's just gorgeous. And there you go. I'll hold it still for a second for our screenshots. There we go. Sandy Ship in Littleton, Colorado. All right. Now this one is from a member of my team that's in Xenia, Ohio. Her name is Sandy Brown. And she used, we were, this was part of the one where we did the um, things that were going uh, to retire. So she used some of the hand pen paper. And then this tailored tag says, thank you. Isn't that pretty? What a nice way to use pattern paper. I just did a video the other day where I showed how to use some of the pattern paper and really talked about how easy it is to use Stampin' Up! material because they've already matched the colors for you. So this purple perfectly matches that purple. This mint macaron green matches the green in here. The blue and the ribbon and in the paper all matches. It's just, it's just stunningly done. Very, very nice. And it says, have a beautiful day. And it's got a stamp in here and some more of that beautiful paper down below. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to so miss this. This is done on Misty Moonlight, which was one of my absolute favorite colors. And now it's gone. So I'm going to leave that there for a second while I kind of pack up all of the stuff that came with this. Because she also sent a schematic for those of us that might want to make the card. This is what we do with our swaps often, uh, exactly the measurements. Um, and so she has uh, the instructions for anybody that wants to make it in the, uh, in the swap. Thank you so much, Sandy. Lovely card. So Sandy Brown in Xenia, Ohio. Now this one is from Pam Cullen using that on the horizon paper and then using an embossing folder down here. It says, thanks for everything. And it looks like she might have even used some of this paper from the top to stamp her sentiment on. Put the birds on there. Isn't that just very pretty? And then again, she embossed the top, the bottom here. You're the nicest. And then colored over the top of that, maybe with her blend brushes. Thanks for everything. Pam Cullen. And Pam is in Augusta, Maine. Uh, and uh, she does a wonderful job. Been on my team also for a little bit now. And so that is that one. God, that horizon paper was gorgeous. <laughs> what a shame it had to be retired. Now this is another one from Pam Cullen. <coughs> Just so happen I have a couple back to back here. And she's got some raised detail here. Uh, up on dimensionals and just an extra layer on top of here. This looks like to be up on dimensionals. A simple hello with an embossed background and that one set of dies that just imprints a pattern on the paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Greens and browns. 
Mm, love that combination with a little bit of our linen twine. Dear friend, how are you? Isn't that lovely? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Pam Cullen in Augusta, Maine. Okay. Pam's already getting a little team of her own. She's doing really well. Now this one was a Valentine's one, so this goes all the way back to February. This was from Lori Mantovi. And Lori is on my team, and she lives in Staten Island, New York. Isn't that just pretty? That pattern paper, and again, using Stampin' Up! colors that all match with the blues and this beautiful rose. The Happy Valentine's Day and a little bit of ribbon here to pick out the blue. And the little hearts. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And then... Here she's put a little strip of that paper on the inside. Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Lori. Lori Mantovi in Staten Island, New York. Very, very pretty card. Okay, the next one I have here, this one is from MJ Owens. And, oh, this one's going to crinkle. I apologize. Um... MJ is from Las Lunas, New Mexico, and this is a lady that's had a heck of a year. <laughs> Her husband has had um, some needed in need of some hip surgery, and she had retired and ended up going back to work, and she's just had a devil of a year. And she has been stamping and making cards for a long time, probably in excess of 20 years. And you can see it in the final product. Isn't that just gorgeous? She has used some elements that she die cut. She used some of the pebbles. She used some stamping. She used the birds. She put different colors on everything. The fence, the uh, stamped, um, grasses in the back and just a simple hello here that's kind of fussy cut out. I love that kind of a sentiment. And on the inside, inside it says, our friendship is naturally beautiful with birds and some more of these grasses stamped here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful little piece of artwork, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Very pretty. Melissa MJ Owen in Las Lunas, New Mexico. So thank you so much, MJ. I love that card. All right, this next one is from Darlene Newcomb. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, this is uh, embossed in one of those folders that's now retired. I just loved it, however, that had the... Uh, trees. I don't remember what kind of trees they are, but it's got this beautiful sloth here and he's got a bandage on it. And it says sigh and on the inside, hope you're back on your feet soon. Isn't that cute? And uh, she goes by the name of Nukes Nook. Um, Nukes Nook at gmail.com. Her name is Darlene Newcomb and Darlene is in Whitfield or Whitefield, Maine. And she's on Pam Cullen's team. So um, they're all connected here. So she is my downline's downline. <laughs> and she now has one that's downline from her. So uh, it starts to build after a while. But isn't that just, it's, it's very clean, very simple, and very effective. Very pretty. There you go. With the sloth. Hope you're back on your feet soon. Just lovely. Thank you, Darlene. That is just a lovely, lovely card. All right. The next one I have for you is Lori Mantovi. Again, Staten Island, New York. Lori always does such an exceptional job. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? She cut her leaves or punched her leaves out of designer series paper that had green on it. And she cut her daisy from designer series paper and her butterfly from designer series paper. And this is a gatefold, or at least a half of a gatefold. So it looks like it might open from both sides. Um, 
but here it opens this way and pulls this way. So you have uh, the opportunity to see things from a couple of different points of view and the inside is automatically decorated just the way the, the fold works and the card stands up. It's just beautiful and it's a note card. So there's no sentiment on there. You could write whatever you wanted or add your own after you got going. Happy birthday friend. It could be anything. From Lori Mantovi. Very, very pretty card. Thank you, Lori. All right, another one from MJ. So, oh, look at that. She does such a nice job. And she always decorates her envelopes too. So this one just says relax and it's that one with a girl reading a book and having a cup of coffee or tea or some hot chocolate and she's got her little buddy right next to her there. Isn't that pretty? And it says relax and then it's got this thread here. Very pretty. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself too. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Oh my gosh that's absolutely lovely with the torn edges on both of the pieces in the back. That is just a lovely card. If you have that stamp set, that would be a fun one to do. So thank you again, MJ, who's from Las Lunas, New Mexico. Okay, now this one is from someone who's newer on my team, but she makes absolutely stunningly beautiful cards. And her name is Denise Becker. And Denise is from Melbourne, Florida. And look at that. Looks like she's got Wink of Stella all over that sky. Oh, it's so pretty. And just bunches of those little birds. And the sailboat here. And lots of clouds. Let your dreams set sail. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. And on the end says... Inside it says, hope it's your best day ever. And some more stamping here. Very, very nicely done. It's just a gorgeous card. Thank you, Denise. Denise Becker from Melbourne, Florida. And just, just a gorgeous card. Now this one was part of a shoebox swap. And this was done by Mary McCannon. And this was the card. A shoebox swap is when uh, demonstrators come and everybody brings a kit for everybody else to make. So you go from station to station and you make cards. And then we stopped and had something to eat and visited and did all of that as well. And this one's straight up, you are the best. Very, very pretty simple and kind of fun. Very masculine. And that's Mary McCannon, and she's from right here in the Denver area. Part of the Kindred Inkers group. This one is Andrea Budd. And there we've got, oh, look at that. It's a pocket card. And so it says, Happy Spring. And it's got a couple of those brass butterflies and a few limbs. And then in it are some radishes, some radish seeds. That's a clever idea for spring, isn't it? And she's got designer series paper doing most of the heavy lifting for her. And there we go, on a single back. And again, Andrea Budd, and Andrea's from um, Santa Rosa, California. Okay, here's another Andrea card. Isn't that pretty? Very graphic. It says, just for you, and it's got some pattern paper here, and it's embossed, and then it's got some ribbon. I always like it when there's also some um, texture there. And then this is one where we had to pick um, a card sketch. And so she sent along the card stick sketch that she used to make her card from. And this, people either love this or they hated it. And what it did was it made you get out of your own comfort zone. Because if you had to match something that somebody else did, well, there you go. You, you, you get to do something a bit different. Very pretty card. Let me just lay that there for a second. Andrea Bud, Santa Rosa, California. All right. Next, I have 
one from Kathy Howes, and this was just great. She sent this to me um, for my birthday. It says, it's your day, enjoy it. And then it's got a calendar here, and this still says January, so you just tear off. Let's see if we can get caught up here. April, May, and then I'll just put this on my desk. And there we go. So, and then this opens like this. It says, hope you have a wonderful birthday. There's some designer series paper in there. And then this whole thing sits like this. And you've got a little post-it note down here. And you've got the calendar right here in front of you. Very, very pretty, cute little idea. That is from Kathy Howes. And Kathy is from right here in Denver. And she is part of the Kindred, Kindred Inkers group. This next one is Wanda Williams. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so elegant. I think sometimes simple, <laughs> this is a perfect example, less is more. Um, because it's so simple, with that embossing folder on the back, white on white, and then this lighter piece here with just the bird stamped on it, and it says, with sympathy, and then a little bit of paper down here, Oh my gosh, that's just stunningly beautiful, isn't it? Wanda Williams, uh, my upline in Gastonia, North Carolina. Very, very beautiful card, Wanda. Okay, this one is from Lori Mantovi, again in Staten Island, New York. And this one is a gatefold card. Isn't that gorgeous? using that wonderful paper that we had. I think it was elegant, something elegant. And then silver flowers, gold flowers, and vellum, white vellum. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. With a bow here, happy anniversary. Who wouldn't be happy to get that as an anniversary card? Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Thank you, Lori. Lori Mantovi, Staten Island, New York. Gorgeous card. And gatefold on a, uh, on a single base. And the gatefold is all designer series paper. So the next one I have is Darlene Newcomb. And Darlene, again, is in Whitefield, Maine. Aha! This way. And it says, live life in full bloom and it's got those darling galoshes boots and some flowers that have some wink of Stella on them and a little color wash here it looks like it's done on watercolor paper and blue and white oh just really pretty doesn't that just say spring to you it just does and then her embellishments here are like water drops very very pretty and on the inside, she's got this watering can. Lovely. This is Darlene Newcomb, again, in Whitefield, Maine. Okay, next, we have a one from Wanda Williams. And this was one we must have done where we were using retireds. So here we go. It is one that pulls open like this. I love this fold. And she's got a nice big piece on it here, a little bit of embossing, the white inside of the card with a strip on this side, and it matches the tulips over here. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Her stuff is always so elegant looking, and it really is pretty clean and simple, and yet uh, just, just beautiful. Thank you, Wanda. Beautiful card. Just beautiful. Okay, we're working through it now. Now this is from one of my customers. And look at that, isn't that cute? It's got a, like a window that you're looking through to a garden. And it says, hello friend here. And then it's got it, the window frame itself is embossed in little flowers. And then designer series paper here, 
floral and then the matching color down here in stripes. Beautiful. And then on the inside, she fussy cut out some more of the flowers. Just a lovely, lovely card. Thank you, Rosemary. It's just a beautiful card and I wanted to make sure you got credit. Uh, Rosemary Schmidt is from Butternut, Wisconsin. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And she also decorated her envelope with more of the paper in the matching colors. Isn't that great? Thank you, Rosemary. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, this one is from another of my customers, Patricia Golub. And Patricia is in Boynton Beach, um, Florida. And remember the strawberry paper? Look at that. How fun is that? This is uh, on a... No, it's not. It is just the designer series paper. It's probably 12 inches. And she folded it here and then folded it here. This was the piece, the, the one on the back. And so she got the strawberries here. She punched strawberries, punched little flowers. It was, it was so sweet of you, it says. Thank you. And Patricia Golub, G-O-L-U-B, G -O -L -U -B, Boynton Beach, Florida. Thank you so much, Patricia. It's just a beautiful card. And because it's got the white here, and then it's glued back on itself here, it feels very substantial for being mostly just designer series paper. Lovely job. And then the thank you here is embossed. Very, very pretty. That's kind of a cool design too. Very, very nice. Thank you, Patricia. <clears throat> beautiful card. The next one is from Lucinda Gosden, Beak Gosden. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? She always does something to her envelopes. And may your comeback be stronger than your setback. Isn't that pretty? What a wonderful, what a wonderful sentiment. And on the inside of this, it might have more of that. Yes, more of this uh, color wash. Very pretty. I love the colors on this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know necessarily or think to put those together, but they really look good. And she did an embossed piece on here, and her cards always feel so substantial. Very nicely done. Thank you, Lucinda. I don't know what we do without Lucinda on our team. She, she does a lot of work in the background for everybody. Lucinda V. Gogston and Gosden, and she's from Williamsburg, Virginia. So if you need a demonstrator out there, she'd be one to call. And this one is just fun. This is um, old designer paper and a couple of butterflies, a white and a little bit of that shimmer black ribbon and some black rhinestones. Look how simple that is and how striking it is. Now, this is from a lady by the name of Carolyn Bernard, and she is the butterfly lady. <laughs> she does love them, and so I'm not surprised at that, but look at that. It's just a beautiful card. Her name is Carolyn Bernard, and she's here in Littleton, Colorado, and uh, she's a customer and uh, comes to my in person card classes. So thank you very much, Carolyn. It's just a lovely card. I just love it. Very, very nice. So that is my swaps this time. I'm going to bring a couple of them back out so you can see them here. Um, they're just so much fun. I love getting them and I love sharing them with you. Hopefully you get inspired and have some ideas of some fun things to do with um, with your Stampin' Up! material. I'm going to I'm going to put this one on this side so that butterfly will show, just like that. And I'll bring a few more of these out here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. 
Uh, right now in May, there is a, an amazing join offer. Um, in addition to your $250 worth of product for $99, you also get $66.50 worth of in, the new in color material um, for your $99. So it's almost $190 worth of material for your $99. A very good deal. And I don't have room for all of them, unfortunately, but I'll get a few more put out here. Um, aren't they just wonderful? Um, thanks again for stopping by. My prize draw is always the same. It's a $60 shopping spree on me, and I'm going to start posting the winner. Um, in fact, um, I wanted to say that for a while, for many of you, I was doing a newsletter, a once a month newsletter, and when my husband passed, I really couldn't get it together <laughs> to do it again. So what I'm going to do is put on my blog, oh, every other week or so, news and updates for what's going on at Stampin' Up! Like right now, the join offer is up there. And then I think also every other week or so, I will put a picture of Puccini. So many of you comment on him. If you want to see some pictures of him, they'll start appearing on my blog once a week or once every other week as I find fun ones. And right now the two, the, the one, two pictures I have up there are when he was two weeks old and four weeks old. And um, so I will be posting that there, but I think I'm gonna do my newsletter on my blog and just every other week post sort of what's going on with Stampin' Up! And if there's sales or if there's a free shipping day and that kind of thing. And so if you just look on my blog periodically you'll stay updated with what's going on with Stampin' Up! So um, that's it for me. Thanks again for joining me. I do so appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!